Okay, one of the uh, things that we made a change on the on the wheels. Um, these are the Vex Pro wheels. I've heard really good things about them. Uh, our experience has not been that great. Every once in a while, there's some of these are loose, like this one here, right? It's loose, and now it it's dragging. And when it drags, when you're trying to to drive across, you know, try to move sideways, um, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't move sideways. It kind of st stops and starts. We've gone to Andy Mark a version of Andy Mark ones. I think they're less good in some ways. I don't think they're as grippy, but uh, they seem to be holding up. So, you know, that's my experience. Um, you know, yours might vary, but that's what we've, uh, what we've done. The El, El Toro, I love it, the simplicity of not powered, but one of the things that the not powered uh, causes some problems with is, is when we're driving around and we're in a battle and, you know, the ball, it can, it can, it can jostle around. It would be really nice if we could pull this in and let us know that um, that we have the ball secure. We can fight for position, release it, and then come out. If if we had pneumatics on this robot, we would just put a pneumatic cylinder. It'd be perfect because pneumatics. The nice thing about it is they try as hard as they do, and then they give up. So you can push with a few pounds, it's down. Push with a few pounds, it's up. But if somebody pushes it, it gets out of the way. Beautiful. But we don't have pneumatics on our robot, and. Boy, that's a lot of things to have to put on just to, for that one feature. You could kind of fake a pneumatic system with what we've done here, right? This is going to go, it's going to sit right in this part of the robot, and there'll be a linkage going from here to a link up here. And it will, it's essentially, if you look at it, it's just, it's just a snowblower motor. But I put on it a mechanism so that when you drive, you only, you only drive through these springs, you see? So when you drive, it like wants to be near there, but not exactly there. So if somebody hits us, it springs out of the way, but then springs back, and vice versa. The last thing you want to do is have something out here where you're holding it solid. Somebody hits it and makes you just fall. Reveal video, we were able to shoot, I think it was like a meter and a half, maybe 1.7 meters. But that was pretty battery dependent, and uh, you know we didn't like the, that it didn't have enough margin. My goal would be to be able to shoot from the white zone if possible. We, we've added more motors. If you look, these are Bainbot motors, the, uh, the 18 volt. Uh, 775s going through with just a three-stage Versa Planetary. The exact same pulley that we had down here, we just have the same pulley uh, driving. Now they're driving in tandem. We even, we just took the signal and wide it. So as far as this, the, we've got two SIMs, two main bots, but the code only thinks there's one, one SIM. We, we split it and then split it again. We put a sensor right here, a sensor on the, uh, on the arm that's giving us velocity of the arm. We already had a sensor on the arm that was the pot that tells us the, the, the true position. But we wanted to be able to do p feedback control on the velocity of the arm. So we were always releasing, not just at the same angle, but at the same speed. So we used um, the WPI libraries that have a PID for velocity or rate. I think they call it K-rate. So we, we're, we're measuring the velocity of the, the, the encoder pulses, the same encoders that we use on the wheels. We just made a little gearbox. It's a one-to-one -one gearbox. I just laser cut a whole bunch of ABS and stacked it together and bolted it in. Now I have a whole a range of pulses and those pulses are telling the C-Rio what the speed is and the WPI libraries, you can set the, the parameters to release at a certain velocity. And that's what we're doing now. And so at the very close in ranges, we're much less battery dependent and we're just repeatable and a lot of other good things flow from us. Having sensors is really a positive thing. Uh, we went from being able to shoot about, you know, 1.5 to 1.7, you know, and being pretty battery dependent. Our maximum right now is right around 5 meters, but we're, we're within striking range. 